Hello everyone, this is me, Dr. Kumar Singh, and we are going to study here forms of federalism. Two types of federalism we are generally practicing in the world. Okay, so in the modern democracies, two types of federalism we are practicing. One is coming together federation, other is holding together federation. So what is coming together federation and the holding together federation we are going to understand here. So first of all, I am going to begin with coming together federation. Coming together federation. Coming together federation or coming together federalism. Okay, so what is that coming together federation? So in that we can have example in whichever countries it is in practice. So we can have example of USA, we can have example of Australia. Okay, so these countries are practicing coming together federation. There are, there are many more examples. Okay, so here I am taking the example of USA to explain you so what happened in USA after becoming independent from the English rule, you know that uh, British uh, had uh, made America a colony and British had fought their American war of independence. So after winning that independence, uh, USA uh, found itself that uh, if they are separated in different countries, because those were like different states, okay, so different countries, if they are forming independent, then in that case they will be weak. Okay, so they have decided that okay, if we are separated, we will be weak. Why should not we come together and form a bigger unit? Then they will be more powerful. So they have decided to form their bigger unit. Okay, so in this way, different states of America they have formed their bigger units. And how they form their bigger units? They have pulled their sovereignty. So they have pulled their sovereignty in one group that is what the national assembly okay the national assembly of the entire country that is what the senate okay that is what the senate the senate is the national assembly here uh, this uh, will be assembly for the entire country so what they have done they have different parts or different states like in our country we have many states but we have we were the bigger state and we divided our power we were the bigger country we have divided our power into state but different states were there which could become an independent state but what they did they have brought their sovereignty they have pulled their sovereignty into one and now the rule making power the ruling power will not be independently handled by each and every every country separately but by collectively all together in this way they have seen themselves that they will be united and they will be powerful so in this way the name has come usa united states of america because they are united now okay so what are the main features here here the states states here okay states share equal power okay states are sharing equal power it is not like in india as in india we have some states have the equal power but some states has been given some special powers but here in this case of america all the states are sharing equal power there is no uh, gap of uh, like some have more power some have less power all have been given the equal power here Okay, and one more condition, one more thing is there that states, states are not subordinate, subordinate to the central government. Okay, states are not subordinate to the central government. This is the main point here, one more that they are not subordinate it means not subordinate means they are not uh, under uh, that uh, all the instructions given by the central and they are going to obey no they have their own area and the separate state and they are having the separate government they will be ruling the uh, in their state they will be ruling with their own government so their state will be ruling with their own government but for, for the entire country for the national uh, for the country
country as a whole or country as a USA united one okay there will be one assembly okay so that assembly will be uh, taking the decision for the entire country and they will be independently ruling in their state so in this way states are not subordinate to the central government and states share equal power these are the main features of the coming together federation right coming together federation in this way so next topic we have the next top uh, type we can have holding together federation okay so holding together federation let us understand about holding together federation and what are the examples we can have where we are practicing so holding together federation is practiced in india we can have example of india we can have example of spain also holding together federation we can have example of india we can have example of spain okay these countries are practicing holding together federation so like we are living in india so it is very easy to understand from for india so take the case of india when india has got independence it has the 11 english provinces 11 english 11 11 british provinces here and more than 500 princely states we were having so this much variety and the large area also and the variety was also there has to be accommodated okay and in india uh, if we go to the history we can find different states have joined with different circumstances okay conditions were different like jammu and kashmir related issue or some arunachal pradesh side means uh, north eastern states uh, like manipur like assam like arunachal pradesh okay these areas have joined india under different circumstances for the history we need to know about that okay so india uh, in india uh, then these states have joined the union of india okay they have been given some special power due to some reasons okay sometime maybe the unique areas are like uh, the physical features are very rough or physical features are uh, very uneven okay bahut zyada upar tha bad mountainous type areas are there so uh, like or some very very differentness in culture or some other things that's why so they have been given some different uh, special rights okay so what uh, we, we can have in india so in india what is done a large country you can say here india india a large country it has distributed its power to many units means we can say simply that holding together federation what is done the bigger units have decided the bigger unit have decided to share power with the small units means the provinces or what we call as state so uh, the entire india has been bifurcated into states so that if these states will be ruling in their areas and nationally one national government will be there so two different points uh, we are going to understand here which are very very important one the states do not share states do not share equal power okay states do not share equal power these states have different power like uh, up like mp like uh, punjab these they are having the same powers okay these are having the same power but if we say about the uh, jammu and kashmir okay jammu and kashmir so we can say here was why because uh, uh, 371 and 35a has been removed from jammu and kashmir okay so jammu and kashmir case we can take in the past too. okay but other cases we can also have here like we can have the case of manipur like we can have the case of arunachal pradesh okay arunachal pradesh so these are the states where the power is given extra so some special power has been granted to them special powers okay special powers has been granted under article 371 okay 371 this article 
371. Under this constitutional article 371, they have been granted a special power. And now, what is in a special power? Just an example I am telling to you. Like, uh, uh, you want to purchase land in Manipur and uh, you want to do a business there or uh, you want to make your home there, but you cannot because you are the outsider. Okay, if you belong to UP area, if you belong to uh, Haryana area or somewhere else. Okay, like I, I belong to Haryana and I want to settle in UP, I can. Okay, but uh, if uh, I belong to UP or Haryana and I want to settle in uh, Manipur area or Arunachal Pradesh area, I cannot purchase the land, I cannot uh, do the businesses and other activities. Yes, central government, uh, if a uh, job is there, that can be taken. But the state government job, that also you cannot apply. Okay, so this is what the uh, difference here with the special powers and more powers has been given. So states do not share equal power. Okay, next point is that states, states are subordinate, subordinate to the central government. Okay, states are subordinate to the central government. In the previous one, you have seen in the coming together that states are not subordinate. Here the states are subordinate to the central government. This is the difference between holding together federation and coming together federation. So for today, this much is enough. Thank you so much.